What is going on everyone? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a devastating case and I guess the best way to describe it is it comes straight out of the what the actual fuck file. This case is out of Kissimmee, Florida. Imagine that, a fucked up case out of Florida. Uh, and it involves the murder of a six-year-old boy at the hands of his parents, Bianca Blaze and Larry Rhodes Jr. So let's get into it, shall we? So, again, this happened in a hotel room in Kissimmee, Florida, where a six-year-old little boy was found unconscious with his head in a toilet. And, of course, he's died from his injuries, and his parents have since been charged with murder. Deputies initially responded to the call of a drowning inside of the couple's Night's Inn hotel room off of West Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway on the 5th of July. Blaze told deputies that her six-year-old son's head was in the toilet like he was drinking water, and that at some point he became unconscious. When authorities arrived, they found the six-year-old boy without a pulse in Rhodes Jr.'s arms. Now, guys, at this point, I've got to give you a trigger warning because the details of this case are gruesome and they may get to some of y'all. When deputies arrived, they said the six-year-old boy wasn't breathing. They administered CPR until he was taken to the hospital with a life-threatening brain bleed, and he was put on life support. He died a few days later from blunt force trauma. Sheriff Marcos Lopez warned during the press conference that the details of the case would be difficult to hear. There were a total of eight people staying in one hotel room at the Night's Inn. There were two parents and six kids. The kids were isolated in the hotel room. They didn't go to school. They didn't have any friends. Regarding the circumstances that led to the six-year-old's death, the Lopez said that the interviews with the other children revealed what actually happened to him. He said that investigators learned that the child was drinking toilet water indeed, but that was not why he wasn't breathing. When deputies arrived, the parents were angry that he was drinking water from the toilet, so they began beating him. The dad with an open fist and the mom had used a shoe. You know, maybe this kid was thirsty. Maybe he was just trying to survive. Six kids, one hotel room, and according to re the reports, they were malnourished. This could have been a survival instinct. But he got beat to death for trying to survive. Both parents took turns beating the six-year-old. And of course now they've been charged with murder, thank God. The other children that were living in the hotel were also being abused. They were severely malnourished. They had cuts and bruises all over them. Blaze and Rhodes Jr. have additionally been charged with child abuse and their children have pla been placed in foster care. Let me just say... <laughs> after covering so many cases where the kids get taken away and put in foster care only to be reunited with the shitheads they were taken away from, please, let's not let this be one of those cases. I, I, I mean, I'm just, I, just once, I, I'd like to see this not be a case where they're so hell-bent on reunification. At any rate, the kids had dead skin cells from being hurt so badly and horrible injuries just on all of the kids from 10 months to 5 years old. And not only their age, but the extent of the injuries to the surviving children made it one of the worst cases of child abuse that they have ever seen. These people are savages, according to the sheriff. Neighbors interviewed by deputies said that they'd not ever heard any commotion inside the hotel room, but the sheriff thinks that's because the children had been beaten so much that they just weren't crying anymore. The sheriff said that both parents had been lying to deputies from the beginning. The two had no real criminal history. Rhodes Jr. had a minor criminal history, but... I mean, guys, this is a horrible and devastating case, and I hope that they put these two little bitches underneath the jail. It's terrible. Now, I'm going to hopefully 
play a little bit of this press conference for y'all to hear. It may play a commercial, and it's going to buffer a little bit, but I'm going to play the sound from the press conference the for you. They were in. That's the scene that we can The child. This is how our agency got involved. On July 5th, we received a 911 call from the mother. She called saying that her six-year-old son was drinking water out of the toilet and drowned. Deputy Miranda was the first to respond to the scene. When he arrived, he saw that six-year-old child who was not breathing at the time. He immediately started performing CPR on the child until the paramedics arrived. The child was transported to the hospital where he was placed on life support for life-threatening injuries. Throughout our investigation, it was learned the child was drinking the toilet but that had nothing to do with why he wasn't breathing. The reason he wasn't breathing was because his parents got very angry because he was drinking out of the toilet, so they started to beat him. First, the mother beat him. Then the father started repeatedly punching this little boy with a closed fist. He punched him to the stomach area this little six-year-old child. It was determined that he suffered a brain bleed and a lacerated liver. The little boy unfortunately passed away a few days later. The cause of death was blunt to the head and abdomen. We arrested both parents yesterday for murder and they were arrested that day on the scene for neglect. But yesterday we charged them both with murder and arrested them on that charge. I have learned also that just a few hours ago, the state attorney's office also has officially charged both parents with murder. The little boy was our primary focus when we first arrived on scene. However, it was immediately clear that the other children in the hotel were, were also child abuse. You could tell they were abused simply by looking at them. They also looked malnourished, very small frame children um, and underweight according to their ages. All the kids had bruises, cuts, and marks on their tiny little bodies. On several of the kids, there was markings that had a distinct pattern. During the investigation, we learned that their parents would send them to the corner of the hotel room and beat them with the bottom of a shoe. We were able to match the markings on their bodies with the imprint of the shoe. And that there tested presumptive positive for blood. Okay? It was horrible. Imagine that, being beat so much that, you know, blood is being left on the bottom of a shoe. There was blood splatter found in the corner, as well in the bathroom, on the walls, on the bed, and on the building. We have selected several photos that are least graphic. We're going to share with you today. We're not going to show their faces. We'll start with LR. LR is the five-year-old. He had the following injuries, abrasion on the right forehead and nose, bruising on his shoulder that extended to his neck, circular abrasions to his left wrist. JR is the four-year-old. Look at this. Imagine the first four years of your life and looking like this. He hasn't even begun to live. He had bruising on his mouth, forehead, upper chest, left cheek, jawline, left neck, left temple. He had abrasions on his lower lip and jaw. There were so many, you could even count them. The abrasions on his chest, abdomen, and back. He had healing abrasions on his hand. He had marks on his knee and both arms. He also had displaced clavicle fracture. Okay? And he's still walking around. You know, and, and it's just amazing. Um, that we caught these kids um, and none of the other ones were able to meet the same fate as their older brother. LR is a two-year-old. There's a set of twins. She had abrasions on her right temple, marks on her chest, bruise on her back and thigh. ZR is her twin sister. She had bruising on her cheekbone, lower back, buttocks, thigh, abrasions to her left eye and right neck. 
And then LR is a 10-month-old, little one. He had a hemorrhage of the left lateral eye, bruising in his left eye, bruised to his left cheek, mouth, and chin, abrasions on his back and ankle. In addition to the murder charge, we learned that the state attorney's office also has charged both parents with aggravated manslaughter of a child, aggravated child abuse, five counts of child neglect. The surviving children have been obviously been removed from, the, from, their, uh, from their current uh, situation when this occurred, and they're in foster care right now, doing very well from what I've been told. I just want to thank everyone who was involved in this case, uh, fire rescue medic, the child team, DCF, the state attorney's office, and of course our detectives right here. Are and, and you get the gist of it. It is horrible. A horrific situation. Almost as horrific as the, the turfing kids, but thankfully caught it before it got to the point that the turfings had gotten to. Um... Unfortunately, the brother, the six-year-old, is no longer with us, but he saved the rest of his brothers and sisters. I just, I don't know what to say. My heart goes out to those little kids. They had to witness their brother die. They have been tortured for their entire lives. All of those kids stuffed into a hotel room guys I'm going to ask you to keep those kids in your thoughts and in your prayers tonight and let's pray that they go to a foster home that is going to treat them right and let's pray that these douchebag fuck up parents get put underneath the jail and never see the light of day again or better yet let's put a needle in both of their arms so that we don't have to support them for the rest of their lives as always guys i i do want to thank you for tuning in and watching i i tell you to give the video a like although it's not a very like worthy video uh but it does help the channel out if you're not subscribed yet certainly consider clicking that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell that way you get alerts when i post new content um but most importantly share this video out you know people need to know what monsters live among us this is crazy guys again thank you for watching i appreciate y'all so much y'all have a great weekend guys